Hi, I'm Nina Savella from Project SMEILE. The SMEILE project is funded by Central Baltic Interact program, and in the project we aim to bring small and medium-sized enterprises from Finland, Sweden, Latvia and Estonia to the Southern African markets. In this video, I will tell you the potential customer about visa procedures when you want to enter the Central Baltic area and possibly do business with the SME companies. So the SME Island project focuses on a certain area of Central Baltic, which you may see from the picture. So far, we have had 41 companies in our project and they are focusing on themes of maritime, shipbuilding and logistics, renewable energy automation and ICT. In, in the project, we are offering research and visibility studies to these companies, as well as coaching when they want to enter the SADEC markets. We do delegation trips twice a year to the SADEC market. We have been, for example, in Namibia, South Africa and Zambia. And we also support the delegations from SADEC who want to come to Central Baltic area. So when you're traveling to Central Baltic area, you need to understand the concept of a Schengen visa. Schengen visa is for short stays in, in Europe. And when you apply visa for one Schengen state, you may also travel to other Schengen states with that visa during your stay. Uh, all countries who are participating in the SMIL project, so Sweden, Finland, Estonia and Latvia, are also covered by Schengen area. In this video, I won't go too much into detail on different visa requirements or visa types. So I suggest you find more information on those from the internet. So where should one apply for a visa? It is very common that you need to apply visa in person from a mission that's representing the country you're entering, the main country you're entering. You cannot apply visa via email or telefax. For example, if your um, country of destination is Finland, you will apply visa from the Embassy of Finland. However, as I already mentioned in the Schengen state here, you may enter multiple different countries when you have visa to one Schengen state within the Schengen area. If you want to visit uh, multiple countries at the same time and none of them are considered as your target country or the main country, you need to apply visa from the country you're entering first. For example, if you're going to Sweden, Finland and, and Latvia, then you need to apply visa to Sweden, usually through the Embassy of Sweden. Honorary consuls and uh, consulates cannot grant visas. So this video presentation mainly focuses on the countries of um, Namibia, South Africa and Zambia. For Namibian citizens, the visa application process usually goes through the Embassy of Finland in Windhoek. The embassy issues visas to Finland, Sweden and Estonia. As for customers who want to visit Latvia, you need to issue your visa application to the embassy in the Arabic Republic of Egypt. In South Africa, the embassies of Finland and Sweden have outsourced their visa application process to visa application centers VFS Global. Usually when you apply visa through these centers, you need to book an online meeting separately and then visit one of the centers for example, there are centers in Pretoria and uh, Cape Town. Uh, visas for Latvian visitors will go through the Hungarian embassy in Pretoria. And for the customers who are willing to enter Central Baltic area from Zambia, you may apply visa from the embassy of Sweden. Once again, you need to book an appointment online beforehand from uh, VFS Global. Uh, there are some links um, 
after this presentation where you may find more information on how to apply visa online. So here are some general guidelines when it comes to visa requirements. <coughs> of course, visa requirements usually depend on the visa type you're applying for. But for example, when you're applying for a visa, you need to have a passport that is valid for us at least three months after you have returned from your trip and it has been issued no later than 10 years ago. You should uh, check that the visa application is completed as, uh, as it's instructed with a signature and make sure that you have a travel insurance and enough funding in case of an emergency in the Central Baltic area, so you can provide for yourself. Other supporting uh, documents might be tickets, uh, hotel reservations, or one important one is the official invitation, usually from the institution you want to visit in the, in the target uh, country or countries. So this has been a short introduction to visa-related questions when you want to enter the Central Baltic area. If you want to learn more about visa requirements and procedures, you may visit the links listed here. If you want to learn more about our project and contact us, you may visit our website. From my behalf, I wish you all the success when doing business with the SMEI companies.